In this tutorial, you'll use the inspector to work with encoded values more easily. Open Burp's browser and use it to access the following lab. The lab is entitled Modifying Serialized Objects. Click Access the Lab and log into your PortSwigger account if prompted. This opens your own instance of a deliberately vulnerable blog website. Click My Account and log in using the credentials on the accompanying tutorial page. These are Weiner and Password Peter. Go to the proxy HTTP tab and select the Get My Account Request. In the Inspector panel, expand the Request Cookies section. Drill down on the session cookie. Click the arrow icon to the right. Notice that the inspector automatically performs the correct sequence of decoding steps to the value of the cookie. In this case, it shows the result after URL decoding and then after the subsequent base64 decoding. Right click the get my account request and select send to repeater. Go to the repeater tab and drill down into the session cookie again. In repeater, you can modify the decoded value. For example, in the decoded from base64 field, change Weiner to administrator, then click apply changes. Notice that the inspector automatically reapplies the correct sequence of encodings when inserting the modified value into the request. You can also select arbitrary strings in the message editor to examine them in the inspector. Go back to the main inspector view, then highlight the value of the session cookie manually. Notice that the inspector automatically decodes your selection in the same way as before. This is especially useful for working with substrings and non-standard data structures, but the inspector is unable to parse automatically. You've now learned how to use the inspector to work with encoded values more easily. To learn more, refer to our online documentation or the Customizing the Inspector documentation page.